It's one of the most recognizable Camaros of all time, and it's still setting the pace today. Indianapolis 500 pace cars have always been special. Well, because it's the Indy 500. If you think about it, there are not many events in this world that get their own commemorative car from the manufacturer. There's no national cheese rolling championship Plymouth Velare wagon, no commemorative caber tossing world finals collector edition AMC Pacer, but the Indy 500, well, that's a different story. When you say 325 horse, 396 Camaro convertible, well, people take notice. But if you say 69 Camaro pace car convertible, people lose their minds. <laughs> to this day, the Indy 500 is the biggest single day event in motorsports. In fact, on Friday, May 30th, 1969, over 275,000 people came out to the oval racetrack known as the Brickyard to witness America's big race. Camaro was the Indy pace car in 67, and it must have been a hit at Chevy because when the opportunity arose to do it again in 69, they really went to town on the event. Now, if you're gonna have 275,000 people in attendance, you wanna make sure that your special pace car is recognizable. So Chevrolet came up with the Dover white and Hugger orange paint scheme to catch as many eyes as they could. The pace car could have been any number of colors. Le Mans blue with black stripes, Cortez silver with green seats, I don't know. But none of them would have had the lasting impact of the white and orange. And while there are only two cars built that actually paced the race, 130 more pace car replicas were on hand doing everything from shuttling the press around the motor speedway to chauffeuring VIPs and race officials. A support staff of Chevrolet C10 pickup trucks, Suburbans, Impala station wagons, and a van were also on hand to keep the bow tie in plain sight for the whole event. Since the beginning, Indy pace cars have had several functions at the track. The primary function is to bring the pack of race cars up to speed and help them start the race. The pace car leads the pack on a warm-up lap after which the pace car speeds off the track, allowing the racers to take off and do their thing. The other function of a pace car is to slow the cars down and allow them to gather up in the event of a crash or a caution. The on-track cars were specially equipped with blue printed 396s, AC delete, 15 inch wheels, camera mounts, radio communications, and other go fast and safety items. The 500 was so popular that Chevrolet built 3,750 option code Z11 pace car replicas to sell to the public, all built between February and May of 69. The two actual on-track pace cars still exist and were displayed together at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in Chicago a few years back. These are the actual number one and two pace cars that paced the 1969 Indy 500. And if you like pace cars, this is as good as it gets. The consumer pace cars all had the Dover white and Hugger orange paint scheme to look like the on-track versions, but they had some options as well. These were all SS package cars and featured Z28 style stripes over the nose and deck and orange pinstripes on the fenders and quarter panels. New was the now familiar hood we know as the cowl induction hood, but Chevy called it the super scoop in pace car print ads. These were also all RS trim cars, so they had hidden headlights, wheel opening trim, and RS taillights with external reverse lights mounted below. And they all had white tail panels, regardless of what engine they had under the hood. Other big block Camaros had blacked out tail panels. The D80 front and rear spoiler package added to the speedy look, and all Z11 pace cars were convertibles with a white top and an orange and black houndstooth upholstery. Dealers allowed customers to choose whether they wanted the door stickers applied or not. Our feature car is a comfortably worn car powered by the L35 325 horse 396 V8 and hooked to a turbo 400 automatic transmission. The dash has the wood trim and the bucket seats are split by the optional console and gauge package. The car had some restoration work done over the years, but it was found as a daily driver. 
And it's right at that point where it could be a, a guilt-free driving cruiser or maybe someday go in for a total restoration. The little nicks and chips kind of add some character to the car, but it still looks pretty good. Pace cars came fitted with power front disc brakes and performance suspension for better handling. Chevrolet called it the Hugger, touting its handling capabilities, and they rolled on 14-inch rally wheels with white letter tires. On race day back in 69, the on-track pace car was driven by former 500 winner Jim Rathman to start the race, and they had a very special guest passenger, Apollo 12 astronaut and third man on the moon, Pete Conrad. Incidentally, Rathman owned a Chevy dealer that put astronauts in Corvettes for years. Astronauts get to do all the cool stuff. And interestingly, the Indy 500 wasn't live broadcast on TV until 1986. Before then, it was shown in movie theaters, on closed circuit TV, or on a television tape delay. The 69 500 aired a week later on June 7th, with Jim McKay anchoring, Roger Ward as analyst, and motorsports legend Chris Economaki as the pit reporter. But it was radio broadcast live around the world, including on shortwave for troops in Vietnam. And apparently, O.J. Simpson was a guest in the radio booth in 69. Mario Andretti went on to win the race in a Granatelli car, with Dan Gurney coming in second. Somehow, Andretti ran the whole race on one set of tires. It's no wonder that the 69 Camaro pace cars are so popular. I mean, they look great, they've got strong performance, and commemorate a great racing day in American history. It turns out that Chevrolet was smart to make such a big deal out of the race, as these cars, well, they're still out front today. Sixty-nine Camaro pace cars, well, they all seem to have a story. Hopefully you like this one from the Brothers Collection. And don't forget, push that subscribe button and you'll get another free video next time from Muscle Car of the Week.